Hello, in this video, I want to share with you my warm-up routine. It's a five-minute warm-up routine. It's very simple, it's concise, and best of all, it works. In the first part of the video, I'll share with you how to do the different exercises and go through that. And in the latter part of the video, I will play through the warm-up so that you can play along with me. If you subscribe to the channel, I'll have this on the home page so that you can use this anytime you want. Perhaps you want to use it as you warm up for your next practice session. Let's get started. A warm up is different than a practice routine or a technical routine. It really is just simply meant to warm up our hands and fingers and arms so that we don't uh, cause any injuries, so that we can get playing and feel good about our playing from the get go. So with that in mind, uh, let's look at some of these exercises, not from necessarily a technique point of view, but rather just getting our hands warmed up. The first exercise that I like to do is arpeggios. This is a right hand alone exercise, so I let the left hand stay on holiday. And I start out with five different patterns. And the first pattern is P, I, M, A, M, I. P, I, M, A, M, I. I go through and I move my thumb from sixth string to fifth string and then back to sixth string. So it sounds like this. Fifth string. So that's one complete pattern. It's quite uh, simple, four bass E's, then two bass A's, then back to the bass E. The next pattern, pattern number two, is the reverse of that. So we start on A, A, M, I, P, I, M. And we follow the same pattern with the basses. So it sounds like this. A, M, I, A, M, I. Now to the fifth string. It's pattern number two. All that time we're trying to get a nice clear sound, but as I mentioned, this is not technique development, so we can just focus on gentle, relaxed movements in our hands. Pattern number three is block chords. So now we go into block chords of eighth notes. three. So every second grouping I'm playing a bass note with it. So we're starting to really get the, the right hand moving and warmed up here. The next one stays in eighth notes and we're going to do the same arpeggio we started out with, but now we're going to bring in more of the thumb and it sounds like this. fifth pattern, fifth and final pattern, is the inverse. We start with the A finger, but we're using those bass notes every second note again. It sounds like this. Now at 70 beats per minute, this section of arpeggios takes about 60 seconds, so it's once through, but you can repeat that as many times as you like. It really starts to feel good in the right hand as we move through those open string arpeggios. The next section of the warm-up starts to uh, bring in the left hand, and we're going to simply walk through a chromatic scale in the left hand. That is open, first, second, third, fourth fret and keep your fingers down as you walk those up. So it gets a bit of a stretch there, a light stretch in the left hand. So we go from the sixth string, one click of the metronome each, fifth string, fourth string. I'm using my thumb in the right hand for all of these. As we get to the third string, I'll switch to I and M in the right hand, and we only play up to the third fret. So open, first, second, third. Then we move to the second string. Open one, two, three, four. Continue on. So we're up to the fourth fret there on the first string. And then we just come back down the way we got up. So. Second. Remember on 
the third string we start on the third fret back to the thumb in the right hand you do that chromatic scale it's going to start warming up the left hand nice and gently but I like to keep my fingers down as I'm ascending through the notes and when I'm descending I like to put them down in a group and then release one at a time group group etc one click of the metronome each there at 70 beats per minute all right, next up, we continue warming up the left hand with some slurs. I like to do four groups here. Two, one, descending, so we're up in fifth position. So first fingers on the fifth fret, on the sixth string, and we go two, one to start off with. So slurs, two, one, fifth string. And we go across the strings from six to one, back down. You can use a mixture of high M alternation and the thumb in your right hand. Following that we do 3-1, the way we go across the strings. Then after 3-1 we do ascending slow, so 2-4. Feels different in the hand, we're waking up the fourth finger. eighth notes and then finally one four across from six to first and back again and by this point your hands are feeling nice and warmed up so we're starting to get into some faster movements uh, and uh, we're going to now do the chromatic scale again exactly the same with the left hand but now we're going to introduce some faster repetitions in the right hand so these would be sixteenth notes per click on the metronome. The one thing we're going to do differently is as we get to the top of the scale, can't talk and play, <laughs> we're going to change fingers in the right hand. So we've been playing I and M, and once we get to that G sharp, we'll switch to A and M. Way down. Nice and steady. All the way down. A and M feels different. Wakes up the hand in a different way. Now the last exercise is using chromatic scale in octaves. But if you're not at the stage of playing an octave scale just yet, you can simply repeat exactly what we just did, that chromatic scale uh, with 16th notes, and it will sound correct as we play together in the play along video. But for those of you who are familiar with the octave chromatic scale, Ooh, something a bit about a tune now. There it is. <laughs> Uh, if you're familiar with that, you'll know that it gives a really wonderful stretch in the left hand. Not, not too much, not uh, forcing anything, but it really feels like the fingers are activating and starting to move laterally and also with an independence of movement. On top of that, we're going to play sixteenths with I and M and thumb on the lower note. So it sounds like this. You can see how it's a combination much more stretch in the left hand. And as we go up, we shift to that G sharp. And just as before, when we get to the G sharp, we change to M and A or A and M. etc. 
So you can see that it gives a great stretch and warm up in the left hand. We're also keeping the, the right hand going with 16th notes and now the thumb is involved. All of this can be done at exactly the same metronome marking. So I suggest you do this routine with the metronome on. Uh, 70 is a nice tempo that we're going to do in just a moment. Uh, but of course you can vary the tempo based on your own skill level and comfort level and perhaps familiarity with this routine. So in a moment we're going to play along together with this routine. You can practice a little bit, uh, rewind the video and watch these different exercises. Uh, and we can play through it together. But beforehand, I do recommend stretching. This isn't included in the five minutes, but it's very, very important. So I would take 30, 60 seconds to do some stretching. And that might simply look like this. We can start with some finger movement, light finger movement, rolls in and out of the hand. A little bit reminds me of uh, the flamenco. They say pick an apple, manzana. So we can call these we can call these apples, I suppose. Just made that up. Next we can roll the wrist outwards, just lightly. No stretching, no pushing. Just light and easy with the hands and we roll them inwards. So we move from our fingers to our wrists. Then you can have, oh, might need to be over the guitar. You can have your hand out in front, very lightly pull back on your fingers and you can feel a bit of a stretch underneath here in your arm, very light. Just a bit of resistance there. Hold it maybe for five, 10 seconds. And then we can do the opposite. So you can put the fingers down, you see that? <laughs> and pull back just slightly. So you can feel a bit of a stretch there in the forearm. You can maybe take a breath and exhale. Breathing's always good. We can do the same thing. Oh, I'm struggling with the guitar a little bit. Uh, you can same thing with the opposite arm. Pull back just very lightly on the fingertips. Take a breath, release, and fingertips down. And give a bit of a stretch there in that forearm. So we've now woken up the fingers, then the wrists, now the forearm. Uh, <laughs> the next thing I like to do is a little bit of a shoulder roll, maybe back. Activate the shoulders. Maybe start thinking about how we're sitting. You can roll them forward. Just getting the blood flowing, different parts of the body. And then finally, I like to do a little bit of a stretch with my head. So you can perhaps tilt to the right and feel a little bit of stretch there through the shoulder and the neck. Bring back to center and relax. And the same. Ugh, you might hear some cricks and cracks. <laughs> you can look up to the sky and return back to normal. And then you can bring your, your chin down to your chest as well. This is just a very nice light and we've been sitting the whole time as well. Of course, you could stand up and maybe do some uh, stretches there or if you're really into yoga and you do things on a mat, maybe even better. But just in a nice practical way, sitting down with a guitar going, oh yes, I'm gonna stretch for just 60 seconds. It's worth investing that time in your body for the endurance of our craft. Okay, let's get into the routine. All right, let's begin our warm up. I have my metronome here going at 70 beats per minute, and we'll start with open string arpeggios. So you can relax your left hand. One, two, three, and a four, and a. Let's invite the left hand to join the party with a chromatic scale. One, 
two, three, four. Starting with two one. One and two and three and four and feeling good. Let's go back to the chromatic scale. We're going to do 16th notes, I and M in the right hand, and M and A, or A and M, descending on the way back down. One, two, three E and a, four E and a. Finally, we have our chromatic octave scale with the sixteenths in the right hand. One, two, three, four. Thank you for joining me on that. Remember, we're not aiming for a technical perfection here. Feel free just to relax and go through these exercises to warm up your hands. You can adjust this routine to a tempo that suits you, uh, but this is the routine that I use. Please subscribe to the channel so you can come back and use this anytime you like to warm up, and we can warm up together and enjoy your practice session.